look at the two matches which were covered this weekend. The first one being the ZPC versus Ratanang, and then the second one being Atachi versus Zimsen. So let's start with the ZPC versus Ratanang. Your, your take from the numbers there, what can we see from the numbers in, in comparison to the expected performance? Right. First and foremost, what I would like to comment about is that I didn't see much change from the ZPC Wange Last team. Season. From the, the bench hasn't changed. The team roster hasn't really changed that much. Except for the additions like Sean, yeah. who, who was acquired from Talent Vision. From Talent Vision. Yes. And then if you look at if you put that, take that into consideration, with them then having a nil all match, it doesn't make sense. I I, I think we should Maybe people will not understand why we're saying this. Mm -hmm. Sean last year was one of the highly rated. I'm shocked that yes. when Suese left for Blue Chiefs, he didn't scope him. It's a shocker for me because I think he's a very talented player. And I think if they had introduced him earlier on in the match, yeah. they would have seen much, much better results. Yeah, they, they would have. But I think, you know, it always goes back to dressing room politics True. Yes. so mm. that one i would say we can't we don't really have much in, uh, Informa anything we can say, say about, about that it. yeah so now as for the numbers if you look at this fc ratana in the, the first half no let's just say like the whole game yeah they managed to take 14 shots at goal of which seven were on target this is what this is ratana this is ratana 14 shots at goal, First 7 half. on target, which means 50. 50%. That's, no, that's, that's like the whole match. 50% accuracy. They also had the 50% accuracy in the first half, but they shot less. They had 4 shots and 2 shots were on target, which is the 50%. They, I, mean, I think they managed to split, except that they were increasing. <laughs> in the first half, they shot 4 shots at goal, 2 were on target. Second half, they came, they shot 10 shots at goal, 5 were on target. Yeah. They increased the intensity. I think I think we should also talk about the fact that do you think the weather they had an effect on the shots? No, I, w I wouldn't say the weather played much. Of course, it was windy. Yeah, but it doesn't really play so, a factor. Okay, should we say they failed to utilize the fact that there was a wind effect? I wouldn't put the wind into the equation at all, okay. because with these teams, we would expect them to just go on and play. If something luckily happens during the match, then then you should okay. be able to use it. Yes, because if you look at this, uh, ZPC Wange took 14 shots at goal, six were on target, which is less than 50% accuracy. They shot six shots at goal in the first half, four of which were on target, and then they came back. In the second half, they shot eight shots. In the eight shots, only two were on target. Their intensity decreased. Now, this gets me thinking that, do you think that when it comes to teams like ZPC Wang, yeah. they expect to hit you real hard in yeah, the first the half and if, then if, if you, I think, struggle I think in the second for, half? I think for ZPC, it's an issue of saying, I, I, I don't want to take the, their play from, away from them, mm. but I think they know their abilities based on the age of the players and all of that. So if they go hard for the first 20 minutes and they can't get mm -hmm. anything, their players usually tire. And when they tire, they usually they want to conserve what they have. Yes, with tiring, I, I think it, the, the, the really offside can also attest to that. Yeah. You can't have a player lingering behind, the, behind defensive the defensive lines. They were offside five times, two of which were in the second half. The time they were shooting less they were taking shots uh immediately after crossing the the center yeah they were trying as much to kick the ball towards goal <laughs> because they they had struggles getting into the box now let's talk about something which is something which we should really consider like that zpc had a lot of free kicks not utilized i think <laughs> we're, we're going back to the same issue of saying these teams keep asking for free kicks from places which don't matter. There's, there's an issue that's going on with these free kicks. Tell your players to stop being dramatic. Be tactical. Know exactly 
when you put like the whole field of play where you can say that I, I can have advantage so now, do you, from this do you, point. Now from this, do you think these teams practice set pieces or it's just like I don't, if anything I don't, happens, I don't think so. figure out what I don't think so. There. They know this player is really good at taking shots at range. Yeah. Those are the same players they put in, but do they have accuracy? But Power then, does not translate to did accuracy. Did you realize something from yesterday's mm. match? Carrington Comba for, from ZPC, mm. he, he, he wasn't playing the football we are used to see him play, it's shooting easy. outside from the box. I think that you think yeah, he's chasing maybe, assists or no, no, what's no, no. going I on? I think there? they constrained him because they were trying to, to, to have him play more as going, a center mid. Yes, as a center as a central midfield, not attacking. But not as a if, center. Yes, but he was stationed there. So he wasn't really focusing on going forward much. Well from okay, from to close off this one from the Oratana versus Z P C fifty fifty percent possession. <laughs> yeah, fifty fifty percent. <laughs> but the question is yeah. They drew Neil Neil to a team which is probably trying to avoid relegation, right? The numbers. What say. what what happens from here on? I think this this should be. Mm. Do you think from here on they will start again gaining points, or it's going to be now everyone no. knows it's possible to hold them. They have an average uh, expected goals per game that is that is supposed to be two goals at least yeah. per game. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure they are going to go back and try to fix their errors because I have confidence in this PC uh, technical bench. Okay. They know how to remedy their problems. So I expect that next game is going to be a win. Okay, now to move on to the Adachi versus Zimsens. Five new for Adachi against Zimsens. Your numbers, what are the numbers saying? The numbers now. Adachi, Adachi shot 16 shots on target overall and nine were on target which is a what 60 percent accuracy and most 60 percent yes, 60 percent accuracy as compared to zim saints who shot 14 shots in total at goal and managed to have three on target okay so now you see already the accuracy the numbers themselves they tell you that zim saints wasn't really as accurate as they should have been which means they are lacking in the Strike force at, department. You mean at, at Zim Saints. Zim Saints. Zim Saints, okay. unformidable in front of call at all. They were not a threat except for so one shot. You, so I think now it's. Uh, but there's a player they brought in, number nine. Number nine. That's the yes. one shot that was. That's the only little shot they shot it. I think, I think we should tell people who that player is while yes. you continue and look for the name. Look for the name. And, and you, you know, the interesting thing that I noticed about this whole Adachi Zim Saints situation was that Adachi really went all in when they came in, when they came in the first half. They had real intentions because the fifth shot they shot was a, after five, the first five shots they shot at goal. The fourth shot was a goal. The same thing again happened after taking a further four shots. The next shot was also a shot at goal. So it's like the last three that they shot in the, in, the, in the first half gave them goals. Okay, so the name of the player is Dylan Marcuse. That's what, that's the Zim saying. Yes, it's number nine. Dylan. Dylan Marcuse. Dylan Marcuse. Ma, yeah, I think it's Marcuse. Mauteus and it's but just know it's Dylan, Dylan, yeah. it's Dylan. It's Dylan. He's a very young player. He came in late. That was the only little shot. On an outside killer. killer from on target. Not Jabulo couldn't even pick up the ball. He just, was just, he just they, I think in they, everyone, I, I heard the Dutch bench, they were really impressed with the boy. I think it's, it's a situation now that most teams have seen him. And they're after going this to season, finish. they're going to take him away. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I think uh, for the numbers, that's all that I can say. Adachi walloping Zim Saints, <laughs> five goals to nil, three goals in the first half, two goals in the second half. But you know, uh, there's someone who impresses me from. I know most people don't pay most much attention to him, mm. but we should look at Percy Maposa, His number, number eight. Number for eight. Adachi plays at left back. He's playing out of position, mm -hmm. but assists, it's him, set pieces, it's him. I think Arnel lost the player then. Yeah, they did. That's what happens. You see this Dylan, number nine? Yeah. If you impress the opposition playing against they you, will, and they, they will look for you. Why? Because they're asking, why are you having a player like this seated on a bench? 
Yes. And then you put him in late. It's the same thing. Like Sean came in, became a threat. And then last minutes and then the matches. I, I know I know ZPC will be like we, we lost penalties chances at most. But I I wouldn't say they lost penalties. I think most referees will attest to this. It is difficult to give penalties in the dying minutes. Yeah, it becomes, it becomes a match of a controversial issue there. Those were acts of desperation. True. So you don't want as a match official or as a referee to be caught up in those situations where you'll be asked, that, did you really assess the situation well? Or you just fail for the player's acts? You don't want that. Yeah. True. So I think it, it was a very good decision by the referee there not to really give it out. I know this is a controversial yeah. thing to say, but... Yeah, I think so it was a very that's good decision, truth. yeah. So I think now that we, have, we are covering now the show, I thank you everyone for watching for today. We will leave